Hi everyone, this is Ivo. Today I will introduce a Delta DOP 100 HMI X mobile semester and slave. In most of case, I think we use a HMI X mobile semester. But today's example, I will show you how to set up a HMI X as either a master or a slave. Uh, so you can see uh, today HMI we use a DOP 107 WV and you can see for the hardware physically we have only two uh, serial port but you can see the item B here we list down COM2 and COM3 so how to achieve uh, this we can see the wiring diagram over here so uh, today's example we will use a, a two set IS485 so you can see for the COM2 com uh, first set it will use a pin pin 1 and pin 6 uh, pin 1 is plus uh, pin 6 is minus and count 3 we use the pin 4 and pin 9 uh, plus minus so you can see the wiring this is for the built-in IS485 of AS218 uh, uh, POC so here we connect the uh, pin 1 and pin 6 uh, to the COM1 of POC and pin 4 and pin 9 we connect to the COM2 of POC here you can see uh, for uh, HMI COM2 it work, will work as a master and COM1 work as a slave as we already showed the wiring over here then uh, in second uh, POC second uh, zero port COM2 it will work as master and DOP107 it will work as a slave in uh, COM3 so here you can see the setting for COM2, uh, HMI is master, so we select a uh, manufacturer Delta uh, model series. We select SPOC, and you can see once uh, HMI is uh, master, so the HMI station is a uh, meaningless. That uh, means we cannot uh, select. Okay, then come to uh, COM3. Here we select a MOBUS and uh, select a ASCII uh, slave. And for sure, if you want to use the RTU mode, then you can select RTU slab here. Okay, and th in this case, uh, HMI is a slave. So we have to define the station number of uh, HMI. And this example, just use a two. For sure, you can also use a one and change the POC to uh, two. Then we can uh, see this is the uh, corresponding uh, internal register mapping to the MOBUS address and today I will show you how to map the sorry to uh, establish the relation between uh, dollar sign 0 and uh, uh, 40,001 okay but the uh, data uh, example we actually use the six digit and you can also select this one that uh, doesn't matter but uh, data I will show you based on the Mobus uh, six digit, and then I will show you uh, SPOC serial port uh, setting. So you can simply achieve this by uh, hardware config inside the ISP shop. So here, uh, COM one and COM two, we both set up a uh, station number one, node ID one, and the protocol is a nine six double o seven e one. The final part we have to set up the data exchange function in the COM2. So here, if you still remember, HMI station number is two, and we select the standard mobile device, and this one is uh, what I mentioned. We use the six digit, so uh, four hundred thousand one uh, equal to dollar sign uh, zero, and uh, forty thousand one hundred one equal to uh, dollar sign one hundred. Okay, so let's come to our software first. For the serial uh, port, come to we select uh, ASPOC. Then remember switch this one uh, to IS485. And then we go to uh, COM3. And here, uh, if you still remember, we have to select the MOBUS and uh, ASCII uh, slave.
this is uh, I mentioned if you want to use uh, RTU, you just uh, click this one. But today we show you uh, based on ASCII. And here we change the station to two and I spoil T5. Okay, then uh, because later I will show you based on the BNC function. So we have to set up the IP address over here. So, okay, so after that, uh, we go to the network setting and enable VNC. Then we back to uh, ISP shop. Uh, we create a POU first. After that, uh, we double click uh, hardware config. Okay, so here uh, we click the COM, uh, COM1 post setting. So we just use the default setting. Come to us, use the default setting. Then we click uh, data exchange function. Uh, here we add one for the always enable. Okay, then uh, we double click. And remember change uh, this station to two and we select the standard mobile uh, device. Uh, remember to click this one, enable. And we said here is a uh, 1000 and 2000. And if you still remember here, we will use a uh, mobile six digit and is a uh, 400,001. And we can define 10 words. Actually, you can send more, but uh, here I just show you uh, 10 words. And here's uh, 40,101. We set another uh, 10. Okay, after that, we can uh, download the setting. Okay, then we can back to the uh, software and the switch online, oh, sorry, download program and switch online. Okay, then we can back to the uh, word file. So here we will use a, uh, uh, for uh, two input and two uh, display. So we will keep the value uh, from dollar sign zero and another input is from D2000. Then we check the dollar sign, uh, uh, the uh, dollar sign 100. Okay, so here we have to create uh, two display. First one is for uh, D1000. And then we create another uh, dollar sign means uh, internal memory uh, 100. After that, we create another uh, numeric entry. First one is a uh, dollar sign or internal memory zero. Another we create D2000. Uh, okay, so after that, we can uh, download the program. Okay. Uh, after that, we can uh, remove from BNC. Okay, then we enter the password. I think most of you should, uh, should know the value is uh, from one to eight. Okay. 
and here we can change the value to one one so you can see this one is a uh, uh, we give from the slave uh, sorry mobile slave and then uh, this one is from HMI okay and either we can okay we can also change from uh, ISP shop so again here we open the device monitoring table and then we give the D2000 and we can check so this is how to use the uh, mobile slave and the uh, master function of HMI so I just use uh, this uh, internal register of uh, example. So if you want to achieve by another device like a board device or uh, other portion like a uh, non uh, retentive uh, internal register, you can try by the, uh, with uh, different devices and with uh, different mobile address. So I hope this one can help. Thank you.